What is good guys, what is Chris, hope you guys are staying safe and staying cool throughout this time. And uh, yeah, so basically going back onto my nunchuck tutorial, um, there's a lot of stuff we would discuss and speak about and make sure we're doing things right. Um, <coughs> so there's two modes, again it's just a practice video, so I can say and do what I want to do. So it's all good, it's just, it's just for me. So again, press video. <coughs> so there's two modes. There's exhibition. You know what Brucey does in the films, yeah? He's doing all this sort of stuff. He's swapping, you know, doing all that sort of stuff and like, but really quick and stuff, you know. I'm sitting down right now, so I'm not doing it as fast. There's no need for that. There really isn't, you know, that like in combat, have a nunchuck in one hand. Just in one hand and use your dominant hand so I'm right-handed so of course I'll, I'll have my nunchucks in my right hand like so yeah at this sort of grip okay so probably three or roughly half but slightly above half I mean look you can see yeah that's my grip just so you can release easy yeah and your other um, not so dominant hand so my left hand will be there to block not fist but um, hand out, so to block any kicks or anything else. I mean, again, hand, arm is very forgiving. So if the guy's got a sword or a dagger or something, you'd rather, you know, try to hopefully you're quick enough to strike with your nunch up first. Um, <laughs> my son's coming in throughout my video, but anyway, hey, so I say hi to my viewers. Hello. Yeah, alright, cool. So, yeah, we up to you good? Yeah, we done. Mm -hmm. Sorry, much. guys, one second, yeah? Hmm? Nothing much. You on PlayStation? No. Huh? Done? No. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, you're coming back, guys. Yeah, so basically, what you do, um, one grip, yeah? Alright, cool. So, and then, so once again, all, all that swapping stuff, it's, it's good for, so there's, yeah, so again, there's two stages, not two stages, sorry, there's two scenarios. One is exhibition, where you're just looking good, yeah, swapping nunchucks everywhere, twisting around, doing all these sort of mad tricks and stuff, and, you know, even one of my other videos you can see, where I'm doing all that sort of stuff in the garden, that's not going to do anything to in combat. Someone will just put a leg out, or even like a stick or something out and stuff, and that's going to stop it. So that's not going to do any sort of damage to anything or it's in fact it might even cause you inconvenience they're probably going to like take it off you and maybe hurt you with it i mean if you're not so experienced so what you've got to learn to do is basically is just get the feel of the nunchuck first in one hand yeah that's it no swapping there's no need to swap i mean some guys say um yeah it's about confusing your opponent no but you know like in the meantime, you're swatting around everywhere and stuff, you know. Your opponent's going to be, you know, thinking about your head. Or, or, you know, and then some. So, just keep it. Nunchuck is a very effective tool. It really is. Yeah, it can do a lot of damage. But if it's used correctly, if it's not used correctly, it can go against you as well. So, yeah. So, your other, your one hand should be used for blocking. And also, to basically, you know, um kind of sponsor the other bar for example so like i just did there like i caught it to secure it yeah once you get better at nunchucks okay there we go and once you get better at, try this properly one second. okay cool once you get better at nunchucks then you can even you know self grip yeah see But in the meantime, what you can do is you use your other hand to, you know, basically, yeah. And then once you get faster, once you get quicker, you can use use this hand to kind of like block it slightly, yeah. So basically, you're weaving in a fast way, and that will kind of help in combat because. 
why would it help in combat? Because the more times you weevil the nunchuck on this one hand, and you're blocking with this like I'm doing so now, you get to build up power and you learn to kind of like feel the nunchuck and where it goes and where it rolls and how to control it and then you can know where to strike so the main thing is recoil so when you're attacking your opponent you're going to be obviously attacking either downwards you know to his shoulder or his neck or his head or his legs or even his waist yeah <laughs> but you, you're not going to miss but even if you do miss then you have to learn how to recoil yeah and bring it back yeah and come back so the more times you get this kind of grip accustomed to it's gonna help so then you can go yeah kind of thing um, yeah so and then also like you know basically you can just if it's if you do miss you could you, you would know how to weevil and collect again so you've got you got both bars in your hand again yeah and from both bars again you can always go back yeah or under grip the best grip to go for is over grip because that's going to give you maximum power see the chain around me there um <laughs> so you can pull on it really hard until you're ready to full attack Normally, 9.9 um, .9 times out of 10, one attack will do it. Um, and using this hand to kind of like block and to just shield your opponents in case he kicks or brings up some sort of fucking blade or something. Again, your arm, your knuckles, your hand is very forgiving. So if you get a little slice, it, it'll heal. Trust me, it'll heal. Yeah, as long as you don't get wet up in your vital organs anywhere. I'm not saying do it, but just, you know, it's, it's better to, for, your, for your arm, your hand, than anything else. So what you would do is you try to back away, if you have to, if you've got some sort of knife or something on him, and then you'd strike with your nunchuck, yeah, like I just showed you, yeah? So you'd crack, yeah, sort of thing, like... Alright, alright, that's just a trial video, and we'll do proper next time.